Hey, it's Jeremy here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create amazing infographics with this cool plugin in Illustrator. If you're a visual designer and you do visual reports, or maybe you like to design infographics with cool icons, this cool tool called Daddy Lon is available and allows you to create infographics super fast and easily without having to use the grid tools in Illustrator because those are slow and clunky. It actually allows you to create robust designs and gives you a lot more editability and capability when using it. I got it here on the left hand side. You can see the plugin is on the left. Also, you can go to window and if I go to extensions, you can see the daddy long account is activated. Now they do offer a free trial. You can try it out. I will put the link in the description below to give it a try, but definitely play it around with it. So I'm going to left click on the tool. I'm going to drag it out like that and you'll get a box pop up. Now, usually it would ask you to sign in your account. I've already signed in, so I don't have to worry about that, but I'll get up my, the data loan edit, editor box pop up. Now I have an option to choose a whole bunch of different styles. Okay. So maybe it's like a pie chart or a heat map, or maybe I want to do like a dotted map, or maybe I just want bars, right? There's a whole different array of things we can do, but for this one, I'm just going to start off with a pie and I'm just going to click select. And then basically what we have is we've got our pie graph right here. Now I've made this imaginary um, gaming esports team out and I'm just going to imagine that, you know, we have this team and they've got wins and losses and draws, etc. So um, I'm just going to try and uh, think of think of that when I create the data. But anyway, we've got this cool um, little dashboard right here and you can see how the board, it's got numbers, it's got numbers and letters on the outside and we can actually have full capabilities of, ch of changing and editing this. So Within this data, we can actually rename the element so we can rename the, the graph if you want um, and call it, you know, gaming or, or pie graph, whatever. Um, so we can go um, gaming, gaming st underscore stats. Cool. Beautiful. Now I've got the, um, the data cells here. So think of like Excel, it's basically got the cells here. So I can come in here and adjust the values, right? So I just type, press enter, and it will adjust all those values very simply and easily. Okay. Now we can change the data. So you can see we can look at the rows or columns. Um, as you can see here, I'm just going to leave it on rows so it can show the data nicely there. You can also name the data. So they come under the category of a series. So this is just a new series one. You can filter by category, by columns, by values. So you can see here, it's you're assigning um, the names to each um, of these categories here. Now, what if you wanted to edit the design? Because right now it's a bit ugly. How can we actually fix it? So what I'm gonna click is go to the next tab and click on styling on the right hand side. Once I click on that, I have a full bunch of tools that I can use to actually you know, manipulate it and change it up. So if I want to adjust the position, position and size, I can click that. I can add a bit of spacing. Maybe I want 50 points. It will actually make the graph smaller. If I go 100, it will make it even more smaller. But for this, we'll go like 25. That should be like a nice size. Really cool. I'm going to click back here. I'm going to click on appearance now and actually start to change it up. So we can turn on the eyeball so we can actually turn the, if we want a background, we can make a background. I don't want a background for now, but I want to play around with the other colors. You can also do a plot background as well, but I don't want to change those here. You've also got the legend as well. So if you want to add some more details, maybe you've got to put text to make it more um, readable and understandable for your audience, then you can add a whole um, legend there, which is cool. And you have all these capabilities. You can change the symbols. You can change the text. There's like so many things. So I'm just going to turn that off. Now, what I'm going to do is go down to data. Okay. And I'm going to click on slices because each slice of this data is at one piece of the pie, right? So the cool thing about Daddy Lon is that it allows me to select colors from my own swatch panel. So I've got, you know, colors in here. Maybe they're brand colors from my swatches. As you can see, I might come in here, open swatch. And let's just load in my brand colors here real quick. So I can, I'm, I'm going to be able to use these real quick. So I'm going to sort of move this to the side. So now you can see in my swatch panel, we, we can actually left click and it will automatically adjust to the colors of my brand. Super fast, super easy. 
can see here that one of the colors um, is not different. It's because we've only got four swatches here. So I might need to change to a different one. So we can adjust there. You can also go down to the categories down the bottom and they've got a whole bunch of color variations you can pick from, which I think is pretty useful. So you don't have to spend time trying to find certain colors and things that you like, right? So we've got a whole bunch of ones here. We can even do like a more of a gra gradient one, more of like a um, nice flow. There's so many different ones we can do. I'm just gonna scroll back up and I'm going to select one of these ones. I like the one with the yellow. I just added a green color into my swatch and I'm gonna select that one now, this group. So now I've got my colors there, beautiful. Now we can bring the opacity down as well. We can drag that up and down. So we've got control over that. I'm gonna press X on the fill. We can also add a stroke. So maybe we want a white stroke. I'm gonna make the points three points. So if you want to have like this nice outline where it's really bold, we can do that. I might just go down to like two points. Maybe it's, I think it's a bit thick, thick so I'm gonna maybe go down to one point there. I think that looks really cool. I can close that as well. You can also adjust, you know, the radius, um, the pull, and you can also determine how many number of slices there are. So once I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna go back. Now what I wanna adjust is actually the labels and the numbers. So I'm gonna click category labels. I can change the font. So what if I wanna use one of my branded fonts? I usually use, uh, Uniform, uniform black, really bold font. I'm just gonna make it white for now. And there we have it. So now we've numbered the categories. So maybe you have something really detailed that's gonna be really useful. I can change the font size. Maybe I want it to be bigger. I can do 15, which is really cool. I can also adjust tracking as well. You've got paragraph tools you can use and also adjust the background. One interesting thing as well is that I can change the anchor position. So maybe I want to do it at the start instead of the end. So I can click the start. And so it will put it at the edge of the line there, which is really cool. Or I can do maybe at the end and it will move the numbers around as you can see that. Okay, really, really easy. I can also adjust the direction as well. So if we want it to rotate those category letters at the on the outside, we can do it center or outwards. Um, and we can also change the horizontal direction as well. I think that looks pretty good. Beautiful. You can also turn those off as well. You just go to the top right and click the eyeball and you can turn them off if you don't need them. I'm just gonna leave it on for now. Now the next thing is the actual values. So the values are the numbers in the actual pie chart, okay? So we've got the values here. Now, what we can actually do here, similar thing, we can change the color. I like to do just white, make it really bold. And maybe I wanna make it a bit smaller. I'm gonna select uniform black, eight points. And that's looking pretty cool. Maybe it's a little bit small, maybe. Sweet, that's looking pretty slick. But once again, we have total control. We can actually play around with the colors. So you can see if you want a custom color, you can totally play around with that. If you wanna just go black or you wanna just go white, it's really up to you. You got the full control here. And you can even put your brand color hex code, which is super amazing. So once I'm happy with that, I can actually just go back and I can, I've got my series here so I can see the value and the color there, super awesome. So what if we actually wanted to adjust the chart? Maybe we don't like this pie anymore. Maybe it's not tasty anymore. We can actually change it to a different form. So I'm gonna go to the top right corner and click select chart, okay? Now what we can do is we can select any of these different types of pies. So maybe this pie is not standing out. Maybe we wanna do like a donut, where is it like a circle, okay? We can literally select one of these. So I'm gonna click this one here. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna replace the data or keep my data. I'm going to keep it so it keeps the same numbers here. And you can see here, it's actually changed that chart, which is super cool. I can always, once again, go back and adjust my colors. And because I've saved my brand colors there, I can just click it once again, um, which is really cool. And I can start to, you know, play around. Maybe I wanna, you know, do a different font this time or, you know, make it, make it a bit different. Maybe this time I'm gonna turn off the category labels and I'll keep the values here. And then maybe I wanna do 
different font this time. That looks pretty dope. So now we've got a <laughs> cool looking donut chart. We can adjust the inner radius as well. So if you want to change that, we can actually make it heaps fat or we can make it heaps thin. So I'm just going to adjust the inner radius as you can see. And obviously the numbers would probably have to move. Let me just go 60%. I think that looks pretty cool. You can also make it absolute as well. But I'm going to go back to relative there. So the cool thing with Datalon is actually you can replace and change your sheets and your workbook. So if I go to the top left, I can click manage data and you can see you've got different workbooks. So you can see the different values here and it will show up on the side, the data in the elements. So you've got the name there and you can actually swap the data. You just need to make sure that the name of the sheet and the work workbook is the same um, when you're swapping it out. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now, if you wanted to swap it with this one, what we can actually do is swap it. So I can go select sheet at the top right corner and it will actually swap out with those numbers there. So I can go back, select another sheet, click select sheet, and it's gonna adjust keeping the same brand colors and fonts that we already styled before. It's really powerful because if we have multiple sheets of data, we can easily import them into this. Now, one cool feature that Daddylon has that is so much better than Illustrator default is they have this smart scaling effect. So I'm going to quickly just turn on labels in my styling and I'm just going to uh, make sure that's on. And you can see here, I've got the um, graph here. And what I want to do is actually scale it. So all I have to do is select the chart and you can see the bounding box and anchor points on the outside. All I have to do is scale it down. I can hold shift and alt to keep the proportions. And what's going to happen is it's going to scale the text and the category labels based on the size of the graph or the chart. So you can see that now if I scale it up, make it heaps big, it will automatically scale it to the size of the graph. So maybe you have last minute changes or, you know, the client wants it to be bigger or whatever it is, you can actually, you know, change the size and it's going to constantly rescale it. And this is a just super great tool. Now, once you're happy with your chart, what I can actually do is I can, you know, go ahead, I can duplicate this if I want, and I can edit this specific one. I can expand it as well. That's another cool thing. But if you don't want to expand it, what you can actually do, so you can see it expands the shapes. Um, I can actually import it into Dalyon server, which allows me to share, get links and download files so I can send it to a client. So what I need to do is go to window, go to extensions, and I'm going to go to my daddy lawn account. Now it's going to ask you for your login. So what I can actually do is just log in real quick. Once you've logged in, you'll get the box pop up and I'm going to type in game stats. You can also put um, in description. So maybe I want to say um, project for clients and I'll put like the date. Pretty cool. I can also embed the font so I can turn that off and on if I want. And all I got to do is literally click export and it should connect to my account you will get a, an alert if the file isn't saved. So just make sure that you quickly um, save the file. So I'm just going to save it and save it to my downloads folder. And then it will pop up with a message saying the document has been successfully exported. So I can say view it on Daddy Lom. And what it's going to do, it's going to take me to my account on the browser. And you can see at the top left, this says doc. So I'm in my document and you can see here, it has the same donut graph um, chart that I have and I can edit it. So I'm gonna go to the right corner. I can change the name if I wanna edit that. And now we've got this template, so you can create templates. So if I click on it, I have access to that. I can also, also create a design, copy, or download it as an SVG or PNG and bring it back into Illustrator if I want, or send it out to you know another designer to work on it. I'm gonna click the three dots and click create design. Now, basically it's gonna keep the same styling as I had in Illustrator into the browser here. I can zoom in, I'm gonna hold Alt and roll my mouse. I've got the data here as well, just like before in the plugin, I can change the data points. So maybe I'll go 25, 25, 25, 20, and then five. And once again, it's fully editable. I keep all my stats there, all the, my brand colors and everything. And then on the right-hand side, I've got the same options, got the styling, formatting, and I can play around with all that um, as I please. And then what I can do, I can download it, or save it. So if I click save, I can rename it and I call it um, update on graph and then I'll click save and it should be pretty simple. That's saved. I'll click download. I can download it as a SVG or a PDF. I'll just do a PNG now and you can see how fast it is. 
So you do have that capability. If I'll save it, I'll click the open and now I've got this PNG so you can use it for you know any design software or for your client can drop it into their presentation or whatever they're, they're doing. So that's pretty easy. And that's basically the how you can create templates, how you can create your own designs all in the browser. Um, it's super quick, it's super easy, and um, it allows you to publish it as well. So if you go to the top right corner, you can see it says publish. I can literally publish this. I can call it Gaming Stats 2021. I'll click publish. And so now it's in publications. So on the top menu, you'll see publications there. Now I've got this. It's looking pretty cool. And now what I can do is go to the top right, click the three dots, and go down to share and embed. Now, what this allows me to do is get a link. So I can send it specifically to my client, or if I want, I can actually embed it into my website. So maybe you've got like a uh, report that you put out every year, you can actually embed that into your website. So I'm gonna click this link, and then I'm gonna paste it into the browser and see what happens. Boom, it will load up with the actual design, so you can see the design here. So the client can see, you know, the styling, the design, all, all that cool stuff and it's going to be super super easy so basically that's how you use Daddylon. it's a great plugin especially if you're an infographics designer it's an essential thing that i feel like you do need you can check it out if you go to um, insights.dadalon.com and slash plugin you can check out the Daddylon for illustrator it's super great it works for both windows and mac so definitely check it out i will put a um, link in the description below you can get a 14 day free trial try it out play around see the power within it, um, the editing tools, and I'm sure you're gonna love it. So definitely check it out, Daddylon for Illustrator. Thanks so much for watching, really appreciate it. And if you did find this useful and wanna find out more useful plugins, tools, and tricks, then subscribe for more design content every week. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much, talk to you next time.